Good morning, children, and welcome back to our online class of computer studies. Children, we were in chapter six, that is introduction to Scratch programming. In the previous class, previous video, I've explained you what is Scratch, what is the purpose of Scratch, what and who uses Scratch, how we download the Scratch, and how to open the Scratch. Even we have learned about some basic screen element of Scratch. So today we'll go in some more depth. So let us see block palette. What is block palette? There are 10 categories of blocks in block palette. See this part is known as block palette. Okay, this part. Motion. Motion block. Okay, or looks, sound, pain, data, events, control, sensing, operators, and more blocks. So these are the various parts which are available inside the block palette. Now let me explain you one by one. First of all, the motion. See, when I'm clicking on the motion, we get various objects here down various commands so motion block has the block that control the sprite movement how the sprite will move okay like the sprite will move with number of steps like one step two step ten step twenty steps so these are the movement will be decided by the motion block so the first part of motion block is a move ten steps you can see here it's written here ten steps so what does it means it moves the sprite forward by 10 strips okay it moves the sprites by forwards by 10 steps then turn we have okay it rotates the sprites clockwise by 15 degree by default these are the default values then we have again turn 15 degrees that is anti-clockwise and below that we have point in directions is 90 we can even change if you click on this drop down you get 90 right 90 minus 90 left 0 up 180 down it point the sprites in the specific directions then below this one we have if on edge or bounce if on edge or bounce this part okay so this means it turns the sprites in opposite direction we need touches the edge of the stage so children usually uh, like you can see in the screen there are so many but the important one we have is only five that is move 10 steps turn 15 degrees uh, that is clockwise turn 15 degrees anti-clockwise point in directions number of steps we have like 90 right 90 left minus 90 left 0 up 180 down then if on edge bounds so we can even change the number of steps or degrees by clicking in the number area and we can type the new one like suppose if I type here say 20 okay so we can even change also we can we can change also see we can change the value okay you can see such certain movement you can see see the sprites will get the movement over there if I click here and if I'm changing this one to 20 okay the sprites a little bit changes you can see there so we can even change the numbers by simply clicking on the number box and we can type the new values. So this was about the motion block. So next we'll move to the pain block. Now what is pain block? Let us click here. So pain block has the block that always used to draw object on the stage. We can use um, for drawing. Okay, the pain block we can use for drawing. We have again number of uh, sub points. 
so from here you come uh, will come to the important one number one is a clear it clears all pain marks from the stage then we have is a pain down it puts the pain down and draw line while moving pain up pain up it lift the pain up and does not draw lines while moving set pain color we can even set the pain color okay we have this option set pain color we can uh, it sets the color of the pain chosen by the programmer then set pain size we have pain size also we can set the pain size by default it is one we can even change to other number and ultimately we'll be having the stamp options stamp stamp at the top you can see here the stamp options it is used to make the duplicate copy of the sprite we can make a duplicate copy of the sprites so children 10 blocks are there but uh, we'll just uh, go for the important one that is a motion block pain block again it has a sub categories from there the important parts are highlighted okay and the third uh, block you'll get is a sound block sound one so sound block has the block that are used to control sprite sound so sprite sound you can control like the sprite like cat we are using that makes the sound that can be controlled so uh, the sound block also has so many part but from here the three important part will discuss like play sound meow see play sound meow okay can you uh, listen Silen? if i click this one okay the sound comes okay the meow sound is so stop all sounds we have options we can stop all the sounds and play drum uh, for the beats we have played drum for the beats also this option is also there okay like bass drum so many like a uh, different part is available okay if i click this one see it's like a drum beating okay so like that sounds can be appeared so children uh, there are total uh, in a block palettes there are total 10 but uh, among that 10 uh, we have discussed the three important one that is a motion block pain block and a sound block again inside this blocks there are sub categories uh, that also you have so many but from there we are selecting the important one like uh, from the motion block we selected for uh, five important and uh, from the pain block six important and from the sound block three important part Okay, like uh, play sound mew, it plays the selected sound from the drop down list. Okay, whatever you select it, like uh, you have so many. You can see recorded sound also you can give by default there is a mew. Uh, it stops um, all the sounds currently playing, that is, stop all sounds. And it plays a drum sound for a specified uh, number of beats, uh, whatever number of beats you'll give. Uh, for that many, it will uh, like number of beats. Say, if I give one. Okay, the sound appears. So children, um, block palettes uh, has uh, multiple blocks here. We can say 10 blocks are there. And uh, from the 10 blocks, three importance are there. That is a motion block, okay, which control the sprite's movement. That is a motion block. The pain block, which can be used to draw object on the stage. And uh, sound blocks are used to control sprite sound. Okay, children.